you, Mr. President. Come to the floor today uh, to oppose the confirmation of David Chipman, President Biden's nominee for director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Many Hoosiers are concerned about the nomination of Mr. Chipman, and rightfully so. His statements have made one thing clear. If confirmed, he will fail to uphold the constitutional right to bear arms. He has stated under oath that he supports mandatory federal registration of common semi-automatic firearms and ultimately supports a ban on AR-15 rifles. Semi-automatic sporting rifles can be found in the homes of millions of law-abiding Americans, Hoosiers included, who use them for hunting, recreational shooting, and defending their families. The ATF has a responsibility to clearly articulate its decisions to the public. In his confirmation hearing, Mr. Chipman revealed that he is not able to articulate what a uh, assault rifle even is. His beliefs represent, in my opinion, a direct attack on our Second Amendment rights. It's no surprise that organizations that have never opposed an ATF nominee before are loudly opposing the nomination of David Chipman. The ATF Accountability Act, Mr. Chipman's nomination comes as the ATF is already in need of more accountability for politicized decisions. American gun owners, manufacturers, and small business owners deserve clarity and the right to appeal politicized decisions made by the ATF. Currently, the ATF engages in secretive, behind-the-scenes classification a review process to decide if a firearm will be regulated by the National Firearms Act. No law-abiding American should have to wonder if they are going to suddenly be made a criminal by a bureaucratic decision. It doesn't make sense. That is why I joined Representative Dan Crenshaw in the House to introduce the ATF Accountability Act. Law-abiding gun manufacturers and small businesses should be able to appeal the legal status or classifications within a regular time frame. And I yield the floor at this time. The Senator from Montana. Mr. President, thank you. I want to thank my friend and my colleague, Senator Braun, for leading this important discussion on protecting the Second Amendment rights for Montanans and for all Americans. Mr. President, today, President Biden and Chuck Schumer are propping up yet another very controversial nominee, one that far from unites us as Americans, rather another nominee that divides us further. Sadly, we're witnessing a complete disregard for our Constitution. And the Constitution could not be clearer. And now I know why my Democratic colleagues may want to say it otherwise, but it's clear, it's very clear when it says, and I have my pocket constitution here, it says, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It's very strong and very clear language. Montanans and the American people are guaranteed this rights as protected in our constitution. Despite this, we've seen President Biden and far-left Democrats abandon this right to fit their own gun-grabbing agenda. Their latest attack on the Second Amendment is the nomination of a registered anti-gun lobbyist who has called for the ban of certain firearms to lead the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. This is the very agency that oversees firearms. It's unbelievable. In putting David Chipman in charge of the ATF is like putting an arsonist in charge of the fire department. He has a very hostile record towards the Second Amendment, and this hostile record against law-abiding gun owners speaks loud and clear. It's interesting, look at the 2020 data that's coming in. 40% of the firearms sold in our country last year were the first-time buyers of a firearm, 40%. Why? 
The American people want to be able to defend themselves. As we're seeing the far left push to defund law enforcement, defund the police. And we see the anarchy going on across the cities of America. The lawlessness, the high murder rates, the violence. It's no wonder that more Americans now say, I want to own a firearm myself to protect myself. If confirmed, Mr. Chipman would help the Democrats push their gun grabbing agenda. We can't allow the left to continue this attack on our precious constitutional rights. David Chipman would be a disaster to the Second Amendment rights of Montanans and all Americans. The Senate must oppose Mr. Chipman's nomination for the sake of protecting our Second Amendment rights. We must also pass some common sense legislation that protects the Second Amendment, like what Senator Braun of Indiana is trying to do with his ATF accountability. I support him in his efforts to pass this common sense legislation. I urge all my colleagues to join me in opposing Mr. Chipman's nomination to lead the ATF and encourage my colleagues to pass and support Senator Braun's ATF Accountability Act. And Mr. President, I yield back my time to the Senator from Indiana.